Well, it's time to bring it on with some of the email that you all have sent in. We love hearing from you. Gordon, this first one comes from Jill, who says, Does God heal mental illnesses? I've been praying and believing for a healing of my OCD, and I just worry that the healing of mental illness is not as important as other illnesses. Uh, Jill, he, he numbers the very hairs on your head, so of course. Uh, there's nothing too small for him, nothing too great for him. And don't think for a minute that uh, he's got some hierarchy of importance. Everything concerning you is important to him. When you look at the Bible, did God heal from mental illness? Yes. And there's the story of King Nebuchadnezzar. Just he started eating grass. He became like an animal in the field. God restored him. Uh, and wonderful story of a demoniac, and then he was in his right mind. So God is interested in that and interested in you. I would challenge you to, to look at your own thought processes. And one of the first messages that Jesus gave us was change your thinking and believe the good news. And if you're filled with negative thoughts about God, he's not interested in you or this isn't important for him, Please change that thought. Believe the good news that he loves you infinitely. Uh, and in that thought change, ask him to change your thoughts. What makes you OCD is your thought process. So how can you think differently? How can you say, I'm not going to think that thought. I'm going to think on the goodness of God and see what that does for you. And this is Christopher who says, I met a girl online and committed fornication with her. Ever since I've been blind spiritually, doubted that God is real, turned against him and become a nasty, disgusting person. No matter how much I beg to be forgiven, my light is just gone. The knowledge that I had of the truth via the Holy Spirit seems gone as well. Is there any hope for me or is it just game over? Uh, Christopher, you've, you are living out what the Bible says, that it's our sin that separates us from God. It's not that God's gone anywhere. Uh, you have to start realizing that in Him we live and move and have our being. He's all around you. And if you ask Him to come in to your heart, He will do that. Uh, you're in the, the moment where you realize how horrible sin is. You realize how, how much it's, it's done to you and you're, you're judging yourself. I hear it in the very words that you become a disgusting person. You are judging yourself. You don't have to beg God for forgiveness. When were your sins forgiven? Ask yourself that question. When were they forgiven? Well, they were forgiven 2,000 years ago when Jesus hung on the cross and he said these wonderful words, it is finished. His sacrifice for your sins was finished. He did it. He did it for all time. And his blood speaks forgiveness over you today. It's not something you have to beg God for. He's already done it. It's something you have to receive. And it's something you have to believe that you receive. And when you have that, you can ask him even for the faith to believe it. When you have that, you can walk free from it. We leave you today with these words from Acts. Your young men shall see visions. Your old men shall dream dreams. God bless you. We'll see you next week.